What happens when you are too successful at beekeeping? Well, you you probably would run out of hives. <laughs> I uh, I can do 200 complete hives, but I split my colonies down. I'm nearly at about 260 with them split down. And I'm doing stuff like this. This is an inner cover frame. I haven't had time to put the quarter inch underlayment in there. And I've got some insulation board I'm using for a cover. And these are my insulated fillers. Depending on the size of the colony, I will have five frames if there's not a lot of bees in there. And they've been putting in, because I have a lot of Dutch white clover that I keep watered. Here's one section here. These bees are gathering a lot of nectar. And there's a hay field out there. Show it real quick. There's a lot of clover out there, even though we haven't had a lot of rain, the clover's still doing pretty good. So my bees are bringing in a lot, and a lot of my mating nukes are getting full. So I have to add frames to them, regardless of the number of bees. If they fill out with honey, I still have to add frames. So here I am checking my virgin queens. I've had trouble along the garage if you've seen my other videos. That was a section along the garage there. For some reason, I was missing virgin queens. That's the second time it's happened this summer. It's either they're getting too hot or, or I don't know. It's probably they're getting too hot. But anyway, that doesn't mean they all died and they may have gone into other colonies. So I'm going along. These are all green now. And this right here still has a VQ. So it's. And then the MQ means she looks like she's she's made it and she's going to start laying. So I've got, I don't, I'm right here at, at uh, because it's going to rain tomorrow, I'm going ahead. Usually I don't check until the 8th day. Today's the 24th, so this is 6 days since I verified a virgin queen. And uh, this one here, I haven't read it down yet, it's, it's a laying queen. And I've got 3 others to check. Now let, let me show you, everybody wants to see bees, let me show you the quality of the queens that I'm, I'm, I'm creating here, or the bees are creating the queens. I'm just helping them out with uh, moving hive bodies around and setting up hives for them. Oh, this is heavy. Let me pause this. I'll locate that queen again. I don't want to drop this frame. This is why I don't wear gloves. And if you're using a smoker, see it's humid out right now. The bees are on. If you're using a smoker, you usually don't need to have a veil. The reason I don't use a veil is because I have a hard time seeing through that screen. So let me pause this. All right. Uh, I've had this hive open too long. And when they first start laying, they're a little bit flighty. And there's a lot of myths about beekeeping. They say a laying queen can't fly. Oh, yes, they can. When they first start laying, they can fly. And they're really nervous. And when you, I'm checking because I want to know, do I need to redo this colony or not? Because the sooner you do it, the sooner you have... This is their first chance. This is one of my later mating nukes. So the sooner you redo it, the sooner you get a chance for another uh, another laying queens because summer's so short. So let me go down. Let's check this one here. I haven't opened this one for two. I just took the cover off before I did the video. This is why I'm not making any money doing these videos. And this beekeeping stuff is really serious. And why do I waste my time trying to help you guys out? Trying to tell you it's the toxic chemicals that are harming our bees. But no, you guys want to watch people like David Burns and Vinyl Farm that won't talk about that. That's a secret. They don't want to offend their corporate sponsors. Their corporate sponsored beekeepers is what they are. Okay, you hear this? The noise? I don't have any smoke here. A lot of times they won't make noise until you start moving frames around. It tells me that they, they lost their virgin queen. But no, she's right there. She's just not, she's not laying yet. So I gotta get this frame back in. You see, I risked, I risked losing the queen. She could have, what happens is they take to the air and they end up in another hive while you're messing with their hive because they wanna get into a hive and they go in, into the wrong hive and they get bald. So this one has a, 
virgin queen. She doesn't look like she's mated yet, but it's still early. This is uh, only six days since uh, since she emerged from the cell. And here's another one. We'll do another one real quick. And I'm taking I'm taking these insulated fillers out, and I'm gonna put frames in here. And for a day or two, I might just have nine frames, make it a little easier so I'm not prying out a frame. And then as soon as I get a laying queen, I confirm she's laying, I'll put in the tenth frame. Uh, there is a B space, but you don't need to flip out. Uh, they're not going to fill it overnight. If you were to forget for a week and come back, yeah, they're going to fill that space. But for a night or a couple days, no big deal. So I always... I always put the queen saw or the frame with the brood and the eggs in the center. And if queen starts laying, generally that's where she goes. They're quiet. I don't see anything. It's six days for this one, too. You know, it's completely possible that first hive that I showed you, that first colony, maybe they lost their virgin queen like on her first mating flight and then they got an another mated queen from a older mating nuke see why I don't wear gloves Well, obviously they don't have a laying queen. I start early in the morning doing this. And as the morning progresses, gets closer to noon, it gets warmer and the bees get more active. And it's harder to find a virgin queen. Because as soon as the bees warm up, she's running around in the hive. And I may just give up and say, okay, if it rains tomorrow, then I, I won't know. And I won't be able to redo these early. And they'll get redone late. There, there's a virgin queen right there. She is not mated yet, I don't think, and she's not laying, so I get that, I'll get that back in. So I've showed you with a two, two virgin queens, and <laughs> I know that has a laying queen, I saw it, but she's somewhere in there. A lot of times they, uh, they go off the frame and they'll go up against the wall, and they like the corners, but I don't have any any corners covered so she's probably down there somewhere and because she just started laying she's really flighty so so what happens when you're too successful at beekeeping uh i don't really want to spend the money buying uh hive bodies and stuff and i'll i'll try to finish the things i have when i have time but i'm, I'm doing this stuff here 10 hours a day and i don't have much time to uh to actually build stuff I'll just have to get by, and I've run out of mediums. So I'm kind of worried about that, you know, my bees getting too big and not having... I could probably give new colonies an extra deep instead of a medium. I like to give them a medium, but I'm out of medium, so... Okay, so that's what happens. Your bees grow too fast, and you can't keep up with them. Thank you.